sandwich again. All right. Every day. Rob Wilson, you've been coaching out there again today. Um, we went a long way offshore today, further than I think the team has been uh, while in Palmer. Tell me the reasons behind that. We're still in this tricky uh, weather pattern down here in Palmer. So we've got these sort of northeasterlies, northwesterlies. Um, and it was actually so warm today, uh, earlier on, we had 15, 16 degrees that we were starting to get a little bit of a sea breeze up near Palmer, um, up near Aranel in Campastia. So um, with the northwesterly fighting that southwesterly, you know, we, we thought we'd cut our losses in the end. And so it was a half hour tow to outside the bay and uh, we got some really good sailing in there. The, um, the sea state was a little bit difficult, certainly on the rib. Um, bit of a swell, about a, a what, half metre swell and then some chop thrown in there as well. H how did that affect the boat, do you think? Yeah, I think that's right. It, it was about a sort of half metre uh, swell and then a, a bit of a tricky chop on top of that. Um, so, you know, it, it certainly made the takeoffs a lot harder. Um, and then, you know, the, the whole control side more difficult in a straight line. Um, yeah, so it was, it was, it was a really nice, it, it felt like a sort of scaled down Barcelona day. So it, it was good to be out there. When you first got out there, we saw uh, the boat doing a few um, short flights and then dropping off the foils and then 30 seconds later, another flight and, and then down again. Was that a deliberate kind of let's practice takeoffs at a certain angle? Yeah, we, yeah, we would, we would let, that was part of the day is just to check in on the takeoffs. Um, so yeah, we, you know, get the boat up to speed and then we'll just bring it down again. It's just quite a useful exercise. The only glitch during the day appeared to be a problem with the halyard lock on the jib. Yeah, it, it was just a sort of minor problem on the halyard lock. Um, it just popped off and so we had to uh, change that over. Um, and the boys are up and going again in sort of, well, 10 minutes probably. What did you learn about the boat sailing in those conditions? It's, it's obvious to draw a, a parallel with what we're hearing about Barcelona. Um, we'll have to have a look at the data and sort of dig into that side of it. Um, you know, there, there's lots of little pieces you're, you're learning on all of these days, how the boat reacts in the flat water and, and in the sea state. And I wouldn't say it's one major thing, but a sort of some of, of lots of little things. Only about nine knots of breeze we measured today. That must have been quite satisfying that the boat was taking off. There was a few tow ups, but the boat was taking off relatively comfortably, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. We, um, especially in that sea state, which it effectively makes it harder to to take off you know so it, it's probably equivalent of a sort of eight knot wind speed day but you know we were getting between well between five knots and and probably 12 knots today in total all right rob that's great thank you perfect all right where's